How do you make a <laughs> drow lane know, strong? Mate. What makes a drow lane strong, T? Uh, like, we've seen how Io doesn't make drow strong. Basically, any hero that can mm. be a meat shield in front Radiant and also provides team, some type of damage amp is good. So Cascade instead to go for the Rubik, Drawing Spider Pigs auto lock the drow in. There we go. Ranger. And for Cascade, we'll have to assume that it's a Groove 5 or mid, Viper off lane or 5 most likely. Rubik is the 4. That's kind of my feeling right now. I think Cascade was the team that did try running that Viper 5 the other day as well. Yeah, I would say Viper 5 off lane, Brew mid Rubik. Yeah. Wait, you're doing so well and then you just ran into a brick wall. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. You, you don't we... like the mid Rubik? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> we saw Sumel do it in Epic League and it, it fell very flat very quickly. But no, for me, I'm looking at these Are you heroes, one that's but... Sumail? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Not had the best yeah. success Five lately. Seconds. Oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> still, I mean, the, the Rubik mid is really based on super early aggression and yeah. play, yeah. really yeah. playing with that running to lane gank, running to yeah. lane gank, running to lane gank, and then you have somebody hitting towers. Uh, there's not an exact tower hitter on Cascade, which I'm a bit worried about here. Nobody really oh, hits they, buildings. They still need to lock in their, their carry. They yeah. still need... The carry has to do it. A lad to, to seal the deal. And Spider Pigs, they're scared of outright aggression. And they ban out a Leshrac, which would have been Cascade having the most overwhelmingly aggressive lineup. And I respect that type of ban from Spider Pigs, because that would have been... Would have been a meaty pick for sure. Um... Five yeah, I don't... Remain. Also, I'm going for a new pose. I don't know if it's a good pose or not, but I'm sitting back, just kind of resting a bit, kind of getting a bit more cash with the cast. Uh, it's a lot more High relaxing. Proof. I have High no proof. idea how much you can see, but I'm very, like, I'm comfortable. You're looking good with all that yeah. night sky of Ukraine right behind you, you know, feeling it, vibing mm, it. Night sky, enjoying, yes. the enjoying the moment. Enjoying the moment. Because you. this is an important moment Radiant as well. Man. Bad Rider! Will be banned. Uh, Storm has also been banned by Cascade. So, mid heroes, annoying mid heroes, tempo heroes. I just want to see what Cascade's going to do with this lineup. Like, is it going to be some? Like, where's the where's the surprise Ten that we're going to see? Like, when they lock in their heroes, like we've seen Zitrax play a carry voice brute the other day, and they had a Five mid morphling. Of course, hurry, it's a different scenario hurry. except the morphling. But like, what's that? flair they're bringing when you have yeah, big offlanders like the brew the viper the mars like these type of heroes bigger boys of course one of them needs to be the five it's normally around one really, really big core pit. and what is the big core Sven bang the Sven. there's the tower which has somehow survived to that pick there's a lot of control that mm -hmm. enables this Sven to yeah. do his thing mm -hmm. brew the cyclone is, what is yeah no for sure like sorry what were you saying about that I'll just lining up what oh, kind of crowd control seconds. they have. Yeah. Rubik can even steal some of those stuns as well in front of their, exactly. their advantage. Five seconds yeah. And this is where Cascade, they want to play around the fact that I think the game that they looked best in was with the, when they had that Sven just playing aggressive. They did eventually just kind of fall flat and lack damage because Zitrax itemization was very subpar that game. I think he went for the out build, if I remember correctly, and he, he never really was able to connect. But the idea of what Cascade has is play out the lanes and hope to fight. I think my big concern is they don't really have a nice timing in which they're pressuring towers. They're forever looking for fights, but they never take Roshan. They never take your buildings. They never do anything else. So I like the idea of the draft, the creativity of the draft, but I think spider pigs, if they just pick up one active mid hero, they should be in a good spot. They have good wave clear, the drow, the venge, the bloodseeker. What type of noob heroes are left? I think Panga lives in the pool. New plot loves play, play, playing Pangalier. Um, what else is left? The Void Spirit, is that available? That's banned out. Snap's banned. Yeah, it's banned. Snap's wow, a yeah. lot of bands for Noob, actually. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So very, very cool. targeted. Very targeted, for sure. So he's going to have to pick a hero out of his hero pool. Y yes. He has to play a hero, Panda. It can't be 4v5. It can't be, yeah. Well, the thing yeah. is... Uh, you're you're familiar with hero picks. You're familiar with heroes outside. <laughs> yeah. You know the matchups. But mm. if you're really forced to play, like after six or seven targeted bans on a specific player, how yeah. much does that have any yeah. impact on your gameplay? Not really, because unless you're just curious, you know? naming no names, certain pro players who have only three heroes or four heroes that they can play, yeah, um, then it might be an issue. But All right, for Noob, he's a young lad, pub player. He really does, you know 
played quite a lot of heroes. So mm-hmm. you could easily list about 10 to 11 heroes that he can play to a very well, a good level. There's about two or three heroes that he can dominate on, but he can still, you know, maintain that level to to other heroes. So he gets that puck. And where is the creativity? Oh, there it is. It's a carry brewmaster. Carry brewmaster. No, Kidaro Viper support. Off lane Mars. Hold up. I am no, thoroughly confused no, no, no. for a second. Wait, Ar- is... Ar- Arshisu and Zitrax swapping around. So are they swapping roles? It might be. It might be Cause... that they're just swapping roles in this case. Because Zitrax was the, the carry yesterday, and then is it Shishui? Or I think it's Shishui. I mean, Shishui? you can you can call it Shishui if you want. Uh, Shishui. We, we, I think it's Shishui. It's just, it's just that ever since ever since he played for Helsinki Reds, it's literally what we talk about is the Finnish. Um, we call about the the Finnish Sisu. Sisu is like the gut that we had in like uh. the the Second World War. Basically, that's, that's the way. So okay. he's he's literally written the same way, except it has an mm. H and an extra I at the end. So that's why it's kind of stuck to me just calling him Shisu or Sisu. But okay, I, sh- sh- we, I it's a, there's too many. S's. That's a I that's a play a, by a play slurp, nightmare. So I'm scared. Yeah, that's a, that's a literal play by play nightmare. Shit, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, we miss you. But okay, this will be important. What is the laning? Because Zitrax is meant to be the carry player, and the other lad that I don't want to mention will have a bad slurp. He is normally the mid lane, and it is just going to be a mid fen and a carry brewmaster. Extra cheeky. All right. So. Carry Brewmaster, uh, go us through with the talents. I'm, I have his talent tree visual, vision visioned on the screen right now. Let's talk it through. Uh, do we go HP or damage? Damage. Do we go magic resistance or slow? Probably magic resistance. We will 100% go for the attack speed. Yes. And then we go for the crit damage. I hope so. All right. Let's see if that is a four for four. But right now, at least the, the smoke doesn't uh, pay off. Noob has already revealed this smoke attempt onto the high ground. I will say, though, Cascade's draft, it looks kind of weird, but they eventually get really tanky. And Spider Pigs, their One output of damage, seconds after it's battle. pretty much early on, all their heroes can provide something to the fight. But then in the mid-late game, it's dry will be the world. And that's where Cascade might capitalize on that. Kadaru already dropping to half HP in this... Uh, Top scuffle. Yep, and he's coming back. He's coming back for the kill, and it's gonna go for Zitrax. So even if Mitch kills off Kidaro for the first blood, Zitrax will find a response and have their carry player score a kill early on. So a bit of extra dosh. And Brewmaster is going for earn first item. So what is up with this item build then? I guess the earn so makes sense. Vessels good. Uh, it's more about new way. It's just how the meta is developed. No, no, no. It's literally just the meta. Like, okay. every single team wants to have an earn because the constant fighting, the constant need to be in the fight, chipping away and healing up, is pretty much the most broken item in regards to people buying it. And if you look okay. at Cascade's lineup, no hero wants to buy it. So technically, Brewmaster, the kind of open pick the weird carry he can just slot into his draft we've seen before as well uh mickey from team liquid he'll happily buy it on like an ursa for example just because the value of the urn is so important yeah mitch is gonna force that instantly i'm just uh well in that case if you think about the urn because you already got sven as a really good damage dealer a great source of physical damage does brew need to be exactly the same i guess you can utilize yourself a little bit differently even if you're going for like physical damage based talents like we talked about picking the yeah the attack the damage, speed talents yeah. and the crit and stuff like that so you you would normally like to see a lot of damaged uh items come in as well kidaro well, finding the... a kill on dnz ooh. Ooh, ooh. there yeah, there, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. i think the question for me is simply what type of build like you mentioned is the Sven mid gonna go for a mid Sven build or is he gonna carry? Because we've seen some mid Sven go for the Ags, the stun build, and just try and be in their face. We've seen some mid Svens also just go for a very standard build where they want to be a damage dealer. With Brewmaster in your side lane, he could buy that AC, allowing the Sven to you know skip that one item and go maybe even more aggressive. So again, it's, it'll be an interesting utilization of two cores that want to sometimes buy the same type of items. Into its heart. Let its death be a lesson to us all. Kadaro DNZ at it once again. DNZ trying to get this creep wave pull through. Body blocks the hard cap as well, so it doesn't spawn. 
Smart moves. Kadar is just gonna follow through, all the way. Kadar is being that pesky Relentless position moments. five. Yeah. Oh, he gets the tower. What? How? Oh, How? he nearly got tossed. Well, he was right-clicking the tiny. Therefore, he can it's react like have a through the tower. Split second. Yeah. It's, sometimes I just don't understand the mechanics of the of the tower. Like I've... there's like eight things that occur <laughs> to get tower damage. <laughs> yeah. There's so like, all right, I'll load up right now. Look, look, no. Dota two tower. Accurate. Let's let's okay, just put a you. the TLDR on my end is basically I've played this game for eight thousand hours almost, and I still sometimes get baffled by how the tower actually works. Um, There's yeah, so, so many things to it. One, two, three, four, five. It's basically five things that can occur to change attack priority, okay. and it's a hefty essay of about three hundred words, and that's a lot of essays that you have to write. 300 word essay, but yeah, yeah. it is. It's uh, a big get, one. Get, get the idea on that one, sir. So that's a lot of text, <laughs> at least, in terms of one mechanic of the game. Mm hmm. Miroslav. Um, I think we're more, more just used to seeing Miroslav playing the tiny, at least yesterday, with uh, the series against. Uh, who did they play against? Uh, Live to win? Live yeah, to win. Yeah, Live to win. Yep. Yeah. Live to win. I think he had a decent performance. Uh, there's there's a lot of tiny players in this particular patch. Like, it's just an overall great year. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Minus armor into multi-shot or split shot. Multi-shot. That was the right one. Just and this was by the pigs need. They like, they need to punish the greediness of Cascade sign up where Mars, Brew, and Sven all need some items to come into play. And yep. that's where the drow can easily just start picking them apart early on. The annoyance of Puck, Tiny, and Bloodseeker provide in these early fights. That's where Cascade, if they overcome that hurdle, they easily can outscale because they have so many cores on their team. But that's age old thing, right? It's four cores and a Rubik versus. Yep. All thug. Getting speared up in the tree. Do they have the damage for this? They've used all their abilities, just right clicks. He lives. Close one. Just, uh, I was like, I didn't want to interrupt, but there was a moment. No, like, no, if, I, if they're Drow right. actually dies, like, that's a big win for Cascade. Not both lane, but however, top. Oh, 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 so close. Oh, Doug went to 40 HP bottom. Uh, it's like, oh, yep, still brawling in bottom. Holy crap, this is still going for a long time. Puck is coming in as well. They don't see this one. Puck gets the kill with his ulti. And Great the rotation on the, the Mars. Mars was just about Amazing to rotation. He, yeah, he was. His arm was raised. He plucked the spear from his hand, ready to throw it, but no. Yeah. Puck coming in with a very, very strong rotation. And if you look at the Sven, he is going for a very normal build thus far, going for that Mask of Madness to utilize the jungle. We still have to kind of ask the question: Is it, where is he going to pivot? Is he going to play for the team? Is he going to play for himself? I feel like he needs to play for aggression and damage. Oh, interesting God strength for a creep wave. It's going to get glyphed up as well. It, you don't yeah, farm it if it's glyphed up. He's going to oh, miss. No, like, yeah, he missed like three of the last hits as well in this. Oh no, the jungle's been farmed by himself already. So it's like, yeah. what have I done to myself? He, he, he literally Radiant just came from this camp to God Strength mid to miss three CS and now walking back for the ancient camp. But <gasps> oh, but look at DNZ's rotation. Is DNZ going to be able to spot this out Radiant and maybe get a cheeky little Sven kill? Oh, come on, DNZ, come on. He sees the camp's not Here spawned. Here we go, Chieftain. Oh, get, him, oh, get him, get him, oh, get him. Get him, get him, come yes! on, you can do it. No, he's so close to a toss into the air. Who gets the kills? The neutrals, it's DNZ. Three letters. One and big absolutely tiny. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And Pop and gets the opening on here on mid. Mitch is coming as well to help out. Rubik's gonna get stunned up and killed. Thug kills Mastery. Rubik finally falls at the hands of Mitch DNT. He's gonna die for this. But in quick succession, it's a three for one, maybe even a four for one. Oh, it is. It is calculated. Spider pigs are humiliating Cascade in just 30 seconds. It's just the early movement. I, I just, I love the awareness of DNZ there to identify the fact that Sven, he popped his Gonstrap, he has to farm, he has to go Ancient. So he just instantly goes in, checks it out, and then, yeah, capitalizes on the, the slight misplay from the Sven there. Yep. Spider-Pig's doing a very good job at just picking off the map and making it feel very small. They need the Brewmaster and Cascade to start making some plays because Yep. Sven is not Look hitting any creeps just, right now. Yeah, yeah, he's not getting any time either. 
absolutely just no mercy. But Drow does die bottom to the split. Yeah. This is where Zitrax is getting into the game. He's killing off the enemy carry, trying to unlock some type of pressure because and this is I important. think the key thing here is when you put your win condition here in the mid lane, it's so easy for the supports to swarm into that mid lane. They come from the side lane and pressure. Normally, the good thing about the safe lane is it's so far away from the other safe lane, they have to truly rotate across the map. But when you're in the middle lane, it's so easy to kind of punish but not feel like you've really wasted too much time. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also the vision on mid, it's so easy to scout out where he's going to go. So True. And yeah. it's it's big, like, especially once you hit Brew level 6, a lot of people underestimate how strong that Brew ulti actually is if it's a 1v1. Yeah. It does a lot of damage. Comes the ulti as well. Mars Spear connecting onto Mitch. He's going to get speared onto the wall. LeBron. He's doing his best, just dishing out right clicks. He's got a stun available in two seconds. Noob is coming in. This should be a dead Brewmaster. At least the stun comes out. The, the silence is there though. as well. The there puck we ulti. All right. Then. He's securing the kill. LeBron gets the killing spree off of Citrax. And Noob gets an assist. Yeah. And to be very clear, this is very good for spider pigs, but it's currently playing into how the drafts operate. Cascade, they have good reactionary damage, where if they play together, they can punish the overaggression of spider pigs, but they don't really have this proactive desire to make the players on the map. Spider pigs have identified that, and they are punishing Cascade for not rotating quick enough. The issue is, spider pigs need to truly start taking some towers, because Cascade they are eventually going to scale to being unkillable with this single core Drow lineup where she's the only hero that truly scales. Mm. And then Thug just dying in top to the Viper plus the Zitrax returning back in. This is not what you want to see from Spider Pigs. Like when your big damage dealer who needs to get you out of this game as quick as possible is dying, it's an issue. But perfect rotation from Zitrax so far. Going bottom, using split, killing Drow, TPing top, pressuring Thug once again. Yep. Uh, Mid lane though, sorry. Uh TNC is going to tank the hits in mid. Uh, yeah. Mitch gets the kill first on Miroslav. TNC dead as well. Mitch is trying to guess where Kidaro's going, but he's trying to get the vision on the Viper. Ooh. Now they finally spot him. And instantly is he going to coil? No, he's not. I think he's saving it for uh, an extra rotation. I love, Mars by the way, in. how I was talking about how Zitrax was playing pretty well. Yeah. And you were saying, yep, but the di diving mid. Yep, but the diving mid. Yep, but the diving mid. Then I look at mid and I'm like, oh. Yeah, they're also diving mid, by the way. They're also diving <laughs> mid, by the way. Yeah, exactly. And now TP is top because they want to fight against Zitrax with that ultimate. There's the Venge swap. Gonna buy a bit of extra time for the Drow Ranger to get some extra distance. Shisu comes in as well. The stun on Tiny. Drow dropping low on HP. He's got a lot of one charges, though. Gets that plus 300 heal. And Zitrax suddenly slowed up to 170 movement speed. He can't get to him unless he pops the oh, Drunken Brawler. But it's not enough. Lebron, he, this is exactly, this is a prime example of why you pick Venge with the Drow. You get to keep your enemy away from your Drow Ranger with the swaps. Yeah, amazing swaps there to keep the Drow alive. And Zitrax really just trying to force the pressure. It, it, he is, he's got one mission in this game and it is just to annoy Thug as much as possible. Mastery and Kadaro getting to get a couple hits onto this mid tower because Noob's completely out of mana. He's going to walk all the way home. Meanwhile, in mid, Radiant's Mitch will take over. This is another call Dyer's of like, I'm going to go home, get yourself attacked. some XP in mid. And there's actually another crown on the courier. Meanwhile, Thug has been killed by Zitrax, so... Again? Uh, okay, and Miroslav kills off the NZ. Thug's died three times now to the, to the hands of Zitrax. And Venge wasn't there. Venge didn't even have swap anyway, but why is he, no. this, why is he this deep? Uh, okay, Rubik has tossed. That have might explain you, something. <laughs> but we still missed that, that far one. up. Yeah. This is the death lane. This is like the lane where you go to just get back to base quickly. Is this a dev dead lane for Thug? Yeah. And Mitch also dying in the mid lane. Yeah. That's just pure damage output there from Mars. And from the Viper. DNZ's in mid, but well, he's just gonna have to observe. Royal Jelly. Give me some of that jelly. Thug's now like, I should probably hit some ancients. I can't really show them that anymore. <laughs> It's so it's so unfortunate to see because Spider Pigs normally play really nice aggressive Dota, but Thug, he's a component of that aggression. In this game though, he's actually just been picked off every single time. So 
offsetting the usual timings that we see uh, from spider picks. But still, like, right now, what Cascade, what are they doing here with uh, their item builds? Jisu looks like a Echo Saber is about to be ready. What is there on the courier? Yep, we a got a pieces. smoke! Pieces of the Echo and, yep. Yeah. Three man smoke towards top to help out Zitrax, who's also baiting the attention of DNC and Noob. You can't call the dodge. brewmaster. One. Yep, they're gonna get one, but can they get this hasted puck with a blink dagger? I don't think so. They're still going though. They're still going though. They have the they vision, have vision advantage. They're gonna find the Bloodseeker. Mitch is gonna get instantly punished without getting the time to react to what's happening here. He does get swapped by LeBron, keeping him alive, so Mitch is actually no not arena. dying. Mastery is just gonna TP out with the bulwark on. Wait, LeBron, you had swap! Radiance bottom tower is being attacked. Wait. Le what? Whoops. Wh ah. Whoops. Whoops. It's fine. I was very passionate there. I apologize. It was. It didn't it sound was, angry. It was, I but was it's more true. like it's I was true. more venting my moment of kill them up. Oh. I guess. I guess it's also one a missed opportunity, but two maybe a big brain play to save the Drow Ranger in trouble, who is pushing this tower once again. <laughs> and Zitrax is on his way. Radiance Middle TNC also teleports to top. We have a Sven pushing middle. So Trax takes the approach, the blade mail pops. Thug dishing out a lot of right clips, but he's also hurting himself. The slit there's the saving swap, but it needs to pay off. Kidaro goes down. LeBron is gonna die for this, but can Thug return with a Zitrax kill? Oh, Looks that's like he why he didn't swap. That's why he saved it. You get oh, the no, okay. no, 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 no. Wasted. Probably should have swapped the Mars now. <laughs> Well, it happens. Uh, it was still a saving grace swap because it allowed the Drow to dish out more damage. Uh, got the kill on Zitrax. Got the kill on Kadar. So still, he, he swapped for a double kill. That's still worth it, even if he dies. However, Rupture has been used on Mastery. Has an Invis rune right next to him. But is he going to stay still? They're guessing his movements, and they find him. Perfect. There's the sentry though. This, I think, yeah, the, the sentry's on. He's, he died here. The sentry goes here. Yeah. Radiance bottom tower. That's, that's that. Don't worry, mate. I'll quickly check Twitter see if the patch is out. It's oh yeah. Out. Keep, give us a give us an update. Yeah, I'll give you an update. Hold, actually, hold, hold actually, if you, if you say it out right now, everybody's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm gonna get yeah, I'm gonna get a few words from the boss. So. <laughs> what are you doing there, boy? Why you taking you all the viewers away? <laughs> Why are you tight? <laughs> <laughs> I think it doesn't matter. 15 minutes has passed. Cascade, another what? smoke. Kidaro, Miroslav, and Zitrax heading towards Spider Map, uh, Spider Pig side of the map. DNZ is most likely going to be the one to pop these mm -hmm. smokes, unless it's LeBron. They have vision advantage. The smoke pops. You go back to whence you came from. They are all stacked up here. Everyone is here except for Sven. Where's Sven going? He's thinking about joining. He's thinking about joining. He's coming through mid. Cascade. Keeping their distance. Keeping the anticipation out there. The D-Ward comes out. There's the puck ulti. Beautiful amount of damage onto two. Quickly evaporate the Viper. And the Mars is also dropped to 200 HP. Maybe even finished off. The Rupture comes out as well. Miroslav, he only steals a Blood Rage for himself. And DNC is taken down by Zitrax. And here comes Shisu. The Sven is joining the fight. The arena has been used as well. The buyback coming in from DNZ. Sven is getting kited around. He doesn't get a stun connected either. And Zitrax has got his blade now. He's running a run away from Thug. And LeBron, a noob, is coming in as well. He does get the burn. The slow is out there. Miroslav finally taken down by Mitch. This fight is so spread out. This Bloodseeker's been nuisance here for quite some time. And Sven, he's been isolated from the rest of the targets he should be hitting. He's going to find a kill on the Bloodseeker nevertheless. Meanwhile, Zitrax is still being kited. And chase. Tanky now. Tanky indeed, but how long? Sisu comes in, his god strength is so oh, look at those hits onto DNC. Finally, that damage output really comes into play. Double kill for Shisu. Kidara's gonna die a second time during this fight. He's respawned once and come back a second time. LeBron with a saving swap. He doesn't have another charge though. Whoa, and Sven has no god strength. Tree. Meanwhile, Noob is gonna take down Zitrax. He is still fighting him inside the trees. And Zitrax falls. And now onto LeBron. Mastery helping out Shisu. Another gust comes out from Thug. Only silences them momentarily. Looking to close in the gap with the Drow Ranger as the puck teleports home. 
Thug seems to be safe. He doesn't have a TP. Now Mitch comes in. This fight's when been going fight on for like an eternity Mandra? right now. Another stun from Shisu. There's a rupture as well. Mastery, he ain't moving anywhere. He doesn't have a teleport scroll either. Bow in front of me, peasants. <laughs> That's not the voice line to yell when you're dying. Run empty. But think about that fight. Outside of the weirdness of how long it lasted, just try and see through the chaos and go. You can see the Spider recap. pigs. Yeah, but okay. So, but okay, look, look at this, right? <laughs> look at all the damage they did on the side of Radiant. But how, how it was so split. They weren't able to kill one hero. Their targeting was like two cores on one, one core on another. Supports doing different things. And that is where Cascade, their lineup will thrive in these engagements where they get to just survive and prolong. Sure, four heroes die on Cascade. But the fact that only four die and Sven gets to run around the entire time, he will eventually scale even further and it will be really hard for just Drought to kill all these heroes. So I think this is actually a big cause of concern right now for Spider Pigs. How do we get our damage into the fight? We have to execute and heal and kill one hero together. Well, that was a, I have to say that was a perfect analysis on what we just saw because I, I, I feel like uh, at first hand, I am super surprised that the, the actual fight recap was still there instead of actually resetting like three times in between. There's a lot of early, there's like so early minutes and so much damage. LeBron, Shisu never gets the stun. He just keeps losing vision. Nobody has an Ob's Ward either. So they're just running in blind. However, they're sitting in Spider Pig's vision. You've got these eyes here. Mm. Okay, oh, that's, wait. that's the once worst you... circle I've ever drawn. Just, just, just stop. Yeah, once, you, once that fades, I'll, uh, I'll we'll draw we'll some do it later. No, no. Oh, we can't joke because the hero is not covering us. But alas, Cascade <laughs> are in Roshan and right smoke. now. Spider Pigs have smoked up. They're going for a mastery. Contest. He's in front. He can get a choke point ulti at least to hold him away. Roshan is half HP right now. The beautiful silence comes out from Noob. He's halting everybody from Cascade. The toss comes in as well. And Mastery is going to fall. They've also got the Sven. He dies to the, the swap. swap. The rupture swap comes out. And Cascade lose four. And Zitrax, the lone survivor. Can he snatch the Roshan kill? Can he take the ages? He's gonna lose everything. It's a team wipe. And it all starts with Noob silencing the entire team of Cascade in the Roche pit. 5-0 Spider Pigs. It, to me, that fight is so confusing though, in the idea that Cascade, they're strong when they can draw Spider Pigs across a fight. When they put themselves all into that Roshan pit, allow themselves to get coiled up, Drow from a distance, just peppering in, Bloodseeker damage, Wave of Terror, Tiny, like Cascade just basically put themselves on the chopping block and said, please, Spider Pigs, slaughter us. And it was It disgusting. didn't look like that. It, I mean, I'm sorry, it did look like that. Thank you. And now, if we look at the minimap real quick, this is Spider Pigs after they won the fight. Yay! The happy, happy face with the smiley. I can see the face there. <laughs> That's beautiful. Work of art right there. Thank you very much. Damn. Kill on our slot. But that was the perfect uh, fight that Spider Pigs could have asked for. All of Cascade getting hit by the coil, all getting hit by the blood right, getting hit by the punch sign. That, like, you can't ask for a better fight, honestly. And hopefully Cascade learned from this though, because if they take that type of fight again, this is where Spider Pigs suddenly can break down the map, keep chaining pickoffs, and then start to try and force home their lead and try and end this game before the Sven gets strong, before the brew becomes too annoying, before the Mars has his own BKB. What we've seen after that that big previous team fight into the Roche fight, a couple pickoffs going for Cascade, this momentary chaos. Spider Pigs are really taking the full advantage out of Cascade, not really thinking about their game plan right now. Zitrax in big trouble. Silence comes out, but he's so tanky right now. The damage is finally there. And Noob oh, picks up the pick double up. kill from all the damage. This Drow just froze at them once he pops that multi shot. Cascade. Their, their kind of teamwork has kind of collapsed. Yeah, they, they're kind of being dismantled now. Sim since that Roshan, or especially since the Roshan, there's now just an onslaught. Look at them. Spider Pigs aren't stopping. 6k lead at the tier 3, 21 minutes in. Absolutely destroying Cascade in their inability to just try and hold the line as a cohesive 5. This is, I mean, this is game 1. This is still like. We're starting to approach the uh, so-called mid-game phase of the... Fa I mean, the mid-game phase, basically. And Cascade is in just utter chaos. Spider Pigs are utilizing every second 
of that chaos, not allowing Cascade to ever kind of regroup and get their mindset correct on what they need to do and what they need to avoid. Instead, this chaos is just allowing spider picks to get more and more kills while the enemy is still in recovery. And map, and map control, like, pigs didn't have any of the towers really up until after that Rosha, and then since then they've been like, come on boys, let's go! And they're just running around the map together, just doing whatever they want. Smoking up again, they take the bottom tier two. Are they gonna and find another pick off? Viper in the front. Noob jumps to the back line for the Rubik. One hero down. Sven pops his ulti. He's got a tiny at him, but DNC's holding his ground oh, against the, the Sven. Rupture. There's the toss and a swap. Oh, and absolutely obliterated from the face of the earth is the Sven. He's tossed in the air. He's ruptured around. He's swapped around. And he's How does he play Dota? He do like, like, if he gets ruptured, he gets tossed max range into double swap. That is a disgusting amount of damage, actually. What the hell? Oh, indeed. Well, onto the high ground we go. Yeah, well, yeah, Cascade, they can't do anything now. They just, they're going to have to maybe hit a big arena to spend buybacks to take the fight, or at least try and get rid of the creeps, but they can't do either. The wombo combo needs to happen, and even if Sven respawns, he's still got a 30 second cooldown on God Strength after that. Meanwhile, Noob is just killing off Rubik, and Thug is just throwing out all these early game deaths for Thug. Really didn't slow him down at all. He's trying to manta dodge the spear. It doesn't quite work out, but Noob, another perfect blink and silence ulti on two, and they just kill the Viper by tossing him away. Mars has got his stun also popped on top, and there's another multi-shot, just evaporates. Bruce another hero. Zintrax well. will lose all of his Brulings. Noob snipes the last one. Ben's alive, don't worry. Well, they get the Aegis out. Meanwhile, Rubik's dead. Jisoo, well, he did what he could. He literally did what he could. This game just went from, like, Cascade being super dominant and just being super strong and scary to just, oh wait, we we lost one Roshan and then Spider Pigs went, just turned up the heat and wow, truly an impressive like six minutes of gameplay for Spider Pigs. They win one fight, one Roshan fight and they just eke out every little ounce of map control they can get from it. Thug goes from dying to being unkillable now. Totally agree on that. Cheers to just a die back on Sven. There at GG, there it is. This is what this is <laughs> I mean honestly, I, I hate to laugh at this point, but Sp spider pigs just pristine gameplay and cascade. I feel I feel like they just fell victim of their own kind of uh Well their mentality just kinda collapsed. Dude. They were, they were doing really, really well in the idea of what their lineup was doing. The Zitrax Brewmaster was applying a lot of pressure. But then it got to the point where Roshan, simply that Roshan, that top fight, they, they lost four heroes, but they killed two and forced out a buyback on Spider Pigs. If they were able to kind of slow down the game, then they'd be fine. Like, Spider Pigs can never go Roshan in this game because that's the, the fear of the arena, the brew, the Sven. But it's just that that call to go in five man stand inside Roshan. It just, it just, Gives Spider Pigs way too much of an advantage. They get the Aegis as well on Spider Pigs. And then from that point, it then becomes a chain feed from Cascade. Pick off after pick off after pick off. Bloodseeker running around the map. Puck being super mobile. Tiny just finding everyone with his blink toss. You then have eventually the rupture plays with the, the swaps and the tosses. And Sven suddenly can't take fights. And this was a very, very even game until that one decision to go Roshan completely made the game collapse. So props to Spider Pigs. For A, contesting that Roshan, and then not only that, but probably playing the most flawless post Roshan I've seen within this tier two, tier three scene. So props to Spider Pigs for closing out this game so cleanly. It could have easily, easily been a completely different story if Cascade had maybe five to 10 minutes more patience within their desire to farm. Totally agree on that. I mean, I have, I have nothing to say against that. Was also, yeah. uh, in my opinion, one of the best uh, post Roshan gameplay. Uh, from mm -hmm. uh, any singular team that I've actually seen in in this scene right now, um, either it was just I mean they also played it really well. They utilized every moment, but at the same time, it did feel like Cascade was just lost. They it, it, it's easy to feel lost though after it, it you is. After, lose after that Roshan fight yeah, exactly yeah. after that Roshan fight goes so poorly, 
you kind of go into wait just push out the lane mode ah just you know just kind of recover the game we need to get back to our ability of five man so i can see why they felt lost but just that unfortunate roshan who that, that single call that lack of vision that commitment to the pit especially against a park against a drow who can sit behind it was putting it bluntly game losing but i really love the type of gameplay that we see from um cascade the way in which they just go super aggressive with their picks with their laning and with their first 15 minutes it was really good to see the issue as a team is once they break down that ability to go aggressive and they need to make that big team call it's not up to standard compared to live to win compared to spider pig so i hope they have a new recipe going into the second game but i want to see that aggression because it is it is built into their team at this point well, it is a good time for us to take a breather and see if Cascade can pull themselves together for Game 2. Otherwise, elimination is what awaits them and Spider Pigs gets a chance to fight in the decider match tomorrow. But Game 2 after the break here with the Monster Energy BTS Pro Series Season for Europe and CIS continues in just a few minutes.